Welcome to Lit Capital Sunday Setup. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for those who've been following us on YouTube. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Today we are going to have a look at the market ahead. But of course, as we start every Sunday setup, just to let you guys know, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our website at litcapital.co.uk. You can book a free consultation today to ascertain where you, you are in the trading world and where you want to get to. Um, for beginners, we do have an education academy. If you register for free, you will get access to our academy where you will be able to download our uh, beginner's guide ebook as well as our beginner's guide to forex tutorials if you're already a trader who's been in the game for over six plus months and you want to take your trade into the next level i strongly would advise you to, to get over to our courses page to have a look at what we're offering and of course get yourselves on track to securing a bag so we move forward this week um as always, taking a look at what's on the economic calendar. Uh, we can see for the week ahead, we don't have much that can move markets. Of course, we've got CPI um, along with the unemployment and an interest rate there with the Chinese yen um, mixed with some PMI as well. So we do have a few things that's available um, to potentially move the market. But what we do today of all days on Sunday is just have a look at where we can be throughout the week. And if you guys have been following the DXY, if you've been following our videos closely, you would have seen we've been anticipating a lot of bullish momentum with. And of course, we've seen that now with this coronavirus, we are going to expect to see a weaker Aussie and a weaker yen. Um, as well as a weaker Kiwi. But in regards to the dollar, we can see some strength, of course, with there being um, trade deal tariffs and Donald Trump's impeachment now being over. The dollar can become bullish. Um, we are expecting the price to come up a lot higher now due to the fact that we've seen price action show us on the weekly. Um, very nice price. <clears throat> and if we go down to a daily again, we see price doesn't really look like it's slowing down. So we are expecting to see the equal highs taken out above. We may finally hit the 100 mark. Um, it's been a long time coming. I remember when we was over here back in September, we anticipated the 100 mark being reached. It wasn't at that point now. But of course, the only thing we can do is stay patient. And of course, when the opportunity arises, we will keep you guys updated moving on to aussie jpy my favorite pair well one of the favorite pairs i have aj now paying close attention to the point that if i take away this fib we can see nicely here that the structure was broken which actually turned this bearish structure into a bullish one so with the long move we've had to the downside all we're really doing is anticipating an area that we can get into a trade and hold this to move a lot higher um, but of course, as I've mentioned to you guys already, um, the coronavirus does equal a weaker Aussie, so we can potentially expect to see price come lower. So, you know, at the moment, we've got some fundamental aspects that are really going to play a big part on the Aussie, on the yen, and on the Kiwi. So we, we can't really just rely on our technical analysis because, like I said, you know, the, the large issues in life is what's actually going to affect these currencies in far greater depths. Um, you can see we've got a lot of equal highs above, okay, a lot of imbalance above as well. There's a lot of liquidity above, so I will be anticipating a move higher before, of course, we probably get that move coming lower. Um, off of the weekly, sorry, that is the weekly, off of the daily, um, we can see price could nicely come down into this imbalance zone before turning around or ultimately just coming down to take out these equal highs beneath, grabbing some more liquidity before pushing up. So because of the situation we're in, we have to stay, we have to stay bearish due to the coronavirus, only looking at getting worse rather than better right now. But on the flip side to that, of course, we do have um, you know, a structure break, so we can anticipate both. So of course, um, price didn't really do much last week. Okay, the last set, we anticipated price to come up to either uh, the equal high, sorry, the imbalance above or the imbalance below, it done neither. So we're really waiting to see what price does. My last pair from me is Euro enter D. Um, we've given a trade out on this last week. Okay, we're sitting tight with this one. We haven't yet been tapped out of the trade. Okay, so we are waiting to see what happens. Maybe price opens and it takes us out of the trade. But this is why risk management is ever so important. You can see it's a 35 pip stop loss with a huge upside gain. Um, we're going to see what happens with this one because when we're having a look 
at price. Of course, we can see it is stalling around this area, which is a mitigation zone. So we just want to see what happens. Um, from that being said, we will keep you guys informed and updated in the Discord. If you don't have access to the Discord, I would make it your priority to send us a message. Okay. In, in fact, in the link below, there'll be access. There'll be a, a link which will take you over to our Discord channel so you guys can see what we're trading, see what we're looking at, and keep yourselves informed. That's me over and out. Over to you, Jacob. Thank you, Vel, man. Welcome, guys. Hope you guys have had a great weekend. Um, I'm going to go over a few setups for you guys also, um, starting off with gold. Um, so with gold, we are bullish overall in the higher time frames with the daily and weekly showing uh, pricing wanting to push higher. And um, as Cavell just spoke to you about coronavirus, this is also going to uh, anticipate higher prices with, you know, safe havens wanting to um, be the, the focus in regards to this outbreak, which is causing um, economic crisis around the world. So with that being said, we should be looking for higher prices, but I do believe um, just going off of technical data right now, we can get a major um, or a big pullback in regards to that. So um, I'm looking at this uh, imbalance that's yet to be filled here from where we had this spike down um, at the beginning of the month at the end of January, we had quite a push down. So overall, I do expect something. We should be getting some type of reaction once this imbalance is filled. Um, and, you know, we should be looking to at least uh, get a push back down, maybe to grab this final bit of liquidity that's been left here. Uh, I am looking at the 1560 area, 1557 area. Um, you know, that would be, for me, signaling we are indeed definitely going to spike higher and push higher overall. Um, but if we don't and, and prices keep going up, then, uh, you know, so be it, we might not get an entry. But overall, I do think, you know, just by looking at technical data, we can get a pushback down um, just to mitigate out of some areas that they've uh, left open and stuff like that. So definitely keep an eye on this pair. Um, take you over to oil now. This is another pair where we are also looking for uh, higher prices. Although oil is actually bearish on the daily and weekly, um, I do think, you know, just by showing uh, the technical side of things once again, we can get a push to maybe fill some of these imbalances left higher and also grab some liquidity that's also uh, been on the loop since that drone attack. So for guys that are uh, trading oil, not everyone does trade oil, we are looking for a retracement back into this imbalance area uh around we are being aware of i'll show you the lower time frame the one hour time frame we are also aware of this uh 51 dollar region um uh, but overall if it doesn't if this region doesn't hold we would be looking at the deeper retracement uh showing on the four hour so um imbalances has been left and you know we are playing off of the last candle which pushed down before we got the buy so Definitely worth looking out for those that are into oil, which could be, um, you know, upwards of like 500 point move. Definitely keep an eye on that. And last but not least is uh, GBP USD. So overall, we're bullish on this also, um, but we do have, um, to my attention anyway, we do have this last push up candle before we had this. This, this lower move down. So in my opinion, based on how price is reacting, I do have an alert set, as you guys can see. Uh, I do expect price to maybe push up into this area and then maybe retrace back lower before continuing to make a higher high. So just showing you guys the weekly, uh, we are bullish on this, but I don't believe yet we have, we've had a real significant retracement, so to speak. So I would like to see price continue down uh, filling in some of taking in some of this liquidity that's been left uh, before we actually get that higher high up into um, you know regions we haven't seen since you know good I think it was 2017 we haven't seen that price at so until then um, I am cautious on this overall I do think we can get some bearish momentum going um, you know there are equal highs so I do expect price to push higher as as I've just said but there are reasons lower in regards to a real retracement being made. So um, for all the guys that are bullish on GBP USD, um, I would just be cautious of this last candle on the daily timeframe. 
I'm, I am aware we also have uh, equal highs above and uh, imbalances above as well. So there are reasons to go higher, of course. But for me personally, um, I'm just a bit cautious in regards to the actual retracement we've had so far. I don't really think it's been significant. Um, I could be wrong, as it has played off of a candle I had marked here. But I do would like I would like to see this area taken out at least um, before. Uh, going higher so it could be a spike down or when we get to this area I don't expect price to close maybe just a push lower and spike into these areas before going higher um, so definitely keep an eye out for that we will be updating in the discord as we usually do um, yeah and for all those guys that are watching please like and subscribe if you are enjoying our YouTube content remember every day is money day peace out